channel so today I'm doing this super dark cut crease with a black lip I will be honest I've never worn a actually no I have worn a black lip before never mind I've never done a tutorial with a black lip so I was super excited to do this before springtime came and I seen this beautiful girl on Instagram she's freaking gorgeous I loved her makeup I'll put her information in my description box but hers looks a billion times better than mine but Cut creases aren't my favorite thing to do just because of my eye shape. I have hooded eyes and it is difficult. You basically have to make up this area and make it match your other eye. So it is a lot of work for us hooded eye girls, but you can do it. I believe in you. I really like the way it came out. It's just such a fun look. My fiance kind of looked at me like I was crazy, but eh, whatever. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. Bye guys. Okay guys, so I'm just starting out with whatever makeup I had on earlier that day. Just something kind of light. So it's already been on for six hours, so it's looking a little crusty. Just pulling off those lashes and wiping off our eyeshadow because we're only doing eyes today. I'm priming my lids with the MAC Pro Long Over Concealer in the shade NW15. This is going to cancel out any redness and be an awesome base. And just for extra hold, I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extended, Extended Eye Base right on top of that and tapping that in with my finger. Now I'm using just a um, nude shade from the Naked Basics palette to set it. Now taking the Shade Light Eye Palette, using a tiny little angled brush in that light gray shade, and just mapping out the cut crease that I want to do. I did go for a little bit more of a rounded shape, just kind of sticking true to my natural eye socket that I have to kind of feel. You can't really see. I have hooded eyes, so I just have a fold in my eyes, not really a crease. So I just felt where the crease is in my eye socket and just drew where that area is. Now I'm taking a tiny little fluffy brush and just adding a little bit more product and buffing that harsh line out. Now I'm taking this um, kind of peachy shade from the palette as our transition shade in the upper crease area just to add a little bit of warmth to the look. I'm taking a little bit more of that light grade color in the same spot we did before just to darken up that cut crease a little bit more before we add on our darker shades. I'm taking the Lorac Pro 2 palette and taking this plum color, doing the same process we did before, just really cutting that crease with the darker shade now that we know where we want it to go. Being very careful to not have too harsh of a line on the outer corner. Now I'm just flicking that product up just to kind of start a gradient from the purple to the gray. That way we have that harsh cut line and then it fades upwards. Now I'm adding more product with the same plum shade with a pencil brush in the area above that harsh line just to darken it up some more. Now I'm taking a kind of dense fluffy brush, a tiny little precise one, and just blending that product out and up just a little bit more. It's a really dark color, so I didn't want to add too, too much. I just wanted to make sure I added, then blended, and then added more if I needed to. I added a little bit more using a more fluffy blending brush, which is going to add lighter amounts of product just to bring up that color a little bit farther closer to my brow bone. I'm going back in with that light gray shade just to overlap that purple a little bit just to make sure there is a smooth gradient from purple to gray to peach. The peach you won't really be able to tell it's there, it'll just give a nice little transition for the look. Now I'm taking the black from the Kat Von D shade and I'm again 
doing the same process, really cutting that um, crease. And I'm taking this in the lowest area of that crease, the very bottom, very carefully. And then doing the same thing, we'll start to flick it up. I'm not going to blend as much with the black because obviously black can go crazy real fast. So you want to be a little bit more careful with this. Um, I did go back in and do the same black process again once I was done kind of filming the tutorial portion. So in the intro, um, you'll see that the line is a lot crisper than it is at the very end of this tutorial portion. So I did the black process twice to give a really nice crisp look. Again, just pulling that product up a little bit farther with this stiff blending brush. And then I actually took a um, blending brush with no product on it just to make sure everything's really blended. Now to clean up that line, I used just a tiny bit of concealer right underneath that cut crease. I planned on not doing any concealer, which is why I had set my whole lid with powder. So preferably you don't want to add a cream on top of a powder, but I used a tiny little amount so it didn't get cakey or anything like that. Just setting and really brightening up that crease area just to give a really high contrast between the crease and the lid. Now I'm taking the Tarte Tarteiste Gel Liner and just adding a little wing. I didn't have too much space since I do have small hooded eyes, um, but I just used the space that I had. You want to have a little gap between your wing and your crease. I added lashes. These are the Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. These are my favorite lashes. Just hug those tight to the lash line. Now I'm taking that gray shade and adding that right under the lash line. Adding some gel liner in my tight line and my waterline off camera. Now I'm taking that plum shade right underneath the lash line as well just to darken it up. And then I took that same um, cream shade on my brow bone and on my inner corner. But then I decided to add a little bit of shimmer. So I took the color beige from the Lorac Pro 2 palette just to give it a little bit of shimmer. I'm taking the Lime Crime Velveteen Black. I think it's in the shade Black Velvet. Um, it smelled really nice. That's why I smelled it like that. It kind of smells like vanilla. Um, and just added that to my lips. I actually really liked the formulation of this. I've never tried any of their liquid lipsticks. So I have three of them now. I have a gray one. I think I'll use that in my next tutorial. That's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone's support. If you guys could please like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for any future videos and comment if you have any questions or requests for future ones. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Okay. Oh, man. It's like... I have black all over my teeth. <laughs>my channel so today I'm gonna to be doing a look for first date or meeting your boyfriend's parents um, just something really light and fresh and I'm not funny just stop I'm super excited to do this that was a late clap and my little like five-year-old hairdo cute right maybe I don't know. Researchers in your area are looking for people aged 9 to 45. The investigational drug and all study related care will be provided at no time. <laughs>